Well, millions of tourists travel to Alaska every year to marvel at its wildlife, national parks, and of course, its glaciers. But most of those glaciers are shrinking fast. Wendy Gillette has more from Glacier Bay National Park in Alaska. Dozens of helicopters make this trip every day, bringing tourists to glaciers in Alaska. Trekkers navigate around crevices and streams and even drink from them. Scientists say these days there are more areas with water flow because glaciers all over the state are melting at a decidedly unglacial rate beginning several decades ago. Shad O'Neill is a glaciologist at the Alaska Science Center. Conclusively, the data shows that the climate is warming in Alaska. The National Park Service says there are 100,000 glaciers here in Alaska and that 95% of them are getting smaller or have stopped advancing. The reason that we've been losing so much glacier ice is in part due to warmer summers. It's also in part to, to a shorter winter. Glacier Bay National Park in Alaska was established in part to study the cycles of glaciers. The park's showpiece glacier, Marjorie, had a noticeable loss of ice in just the past year. The changing landscape is even more obvious when you compare Columbia Glacier on the state's south coast. The image on top was taken last month and the one on the bottom 13 years ago when no water was visible. For those experiencing a glacier for the first time, like Julie and Robert Broadus from Tulsa, the changes are concerning. It makes me think about my brand new grandbabies who are twins, three months old, and will they be able to take a trip like this when they're my age? More than half of the ice that makes up Alaska's glaciers is expected to be gone by the end of the century. Wendy Gillette, CBS News, Glacier Bay National Park, Alaska. Scientists in Alaska have measured and studied two glaciers for the past 50 years. They also monitor the state's glaciers by air. That data gives them a more complete picture of what's happening.